In all my years of black womandom, baby, I ain't never encountered this type of foolishness in my life. Welcome to another episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. Let's just all imagine we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there's a post that reads, I need advice. <laughs> well, baby, I, I can't give you no advice. I'm only here because I'm nosy and I want to take your business back to my nosy friends on TikTok. She lets us know that her baby daddy is a cheater. Like, and he cheats a lot. <laughs> Immediately. This shit about to go down here. I'm telling you now. Well, Miss Mama's decided that she got tired of her baby daddy having to leave the house to cheat and that she was going to do something about it. Sidebar. Your only concern is the fact that he leave the house to cheat. Okay, whatever. Anyway, she decides to tell her baby daddy that his side chick and her kids can move into her basement so he don't have to leave the house to cheat. After the sad chick moves into the house, the author of this here post meets an amazing man on Tinder. And in her little brain, it made sense to let him move into the basement as well. <laughs> Y'all just in this house swapping juices and infections. This is the most trifling mess. <clears throat> if you think that this low budget Tubi movie can't get no worse, just wait. While living in the basement, the sad piece and the sad dude have fallen in love. And now the sad piece is pregnant. And surprise, surprise, they don't know who the father is. Here's the problem. Because you know, all that other stuff I talked about, not a problem at all. These four dumbasses have been arguing about who is going to claim this baby on their taxes. So you mean to tell me that you moved two people into your basement so you and your baby daddy could cheat comfortably and all you worried about is a tax return? First of all, you got cheated on twice? <laughs> you moved this chick into your basement and she stole not only your man, but also your side dude? <laughs> oh baby, listen here. The military could waterboard me and clamp my lady parts to a car battery, and I promise you, they still wouldn't have got that information out of me. Let me let me tell you something real quick. Let me let me take my glasses off, because I need you to hear me. You and your indentured side pieces got Jerry Springer rolling over in his damn grave. The only advice that I can give you is to share the rights to this bum fuckery to Tyler Perry, because this ain't nothing but an after-school damn lifetime movie. Girl, I Nobody got no damn advice for your dumb ass. You moving two people into your house to cheat and now them motherfuckers are playing in your face. You stupid as fuck. Despite warning, you look directly into the eclipse. <laughs> and it shows. Welcome to another episode of the fuckery found on Facebook. Let's just all imagine we're in a Facebook group together. And in that group, there's a post that reads, I need to get this off my chest. <laughs> well, I don't know what you got on your chest, sugar pie, but go on tell me so I can go and tell my nosy ass friends on TikTok. The young lady tells us that she's been with her man for two years. They just got married and she's a good wife because she's been holding him down the past 30 days since he lost his job. That's commendable. As his wife, you're supposed to lift him up when he's down, right? Oh, but baby, this wouldn't be Facebook fuckery if it were that simple. Now, Miss 30 Day Free Trial says that she's tired of being the man of the house, so she decided to go out with one of her husband's friends. Sidebar, it only took 30 days. <laughs> Ma'am, the ink on the new cycle's utility bills ain't even dried yet. Like, damn, did you get a man time to apply for unemployment? Anything. You know, 66% of a paycheck is a whole lot better than zero. You know, okay, whatever. She says that one thing led to another, 
and she ended up doing the horizontal hold down with her husband's friend. <laughs> Ma'am, I don't know who you think you playing with. You've been busting it open for that man. Now, if two plus two is four, and five plus five is ten, then you got to tell me what this is, cause cause this shit don't even add up. You know, some of y'all really need to take a page out of Quavo's book and just shut the fuck up. Just just don't even speak, cause you really want us to believe that after thirty days, thirty that one bill cycle. You decided it would be a good idea to cheat with your husband's friend. She says that promises had been made and broken by her ex-husband and that she was the best thing that ever happened to him and she'll be even better to her next husband. She proceeds to say that she doesn't care what anybody thinks about her. <laughs> I hope you don't, Sugarfoot, because I promise you what we thinking ain't nice. Miss Mamas, let's be clear. You, you know what? Let me Let me take my glasses off. Because I need you to hear me. You were never searching for a husband. You were searching for a wallet. The moment that man fell, you kicked him while he was down. When God and karma grab you by your ankles and turn you every which way but loose, please don't ask us why. Because we're going to all refer you back to this post. But sis, my bad. I love this for you. May your life bring you the man that provides all the heartache, pain, and sadness that you deserve. See, for you, it'll be well worth it. As long as that check clears, right? <laughs>